controlling me. ADHD took a hold. Hope you guys are all having a great day today on the showcasing the super clean paper rip transition. You guys can create this effect 100% through Premiere Pro. This paper rip transition has been like kind of blowing up recently in a bunch of different variants. So I wanted to put my own spin on it. And uh, yeah. So if you guys do want to actually try this effect out for yourself, I will have a link in the description to download the paper texture that I used. You guys can go to the mission website and use promo code PAPER. You can download this asset for 100% free. If you guys haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. This content is 100% free, so I really do appreciate it. All right, hopping straight in Premiere Pro. I've got these two clips from Future's Holy Ghost video. Uh, I'll have that linked in the description if you guys do want to check out the official music video. But here, I'm just going to be sampling these two clips. So first thing, we're going to have our two clips and transition. We're just going to have a hard cut for now. And this is where we're going to go ahead and grab the free paper rip uh, pack. So this paper rip is 4K, but my footage is 1080, so I'm going to have to actually scale this down. And by doing that, I'm just going to go to the effect controls after clicking on the paper rip. We're going to go to motion in the scale, and we're just going to scale this down to 50. So that way it will perfectly fit our footage. And you guys can actually mess around with how you guys want this to look. Uh, I'm probably going to zoom it in a little bit. Right here, you can see I've separated it into like three main rips, and this is just how our transition is going to go. So right now, obviously, that looks very, <laughs> that's not a transition. So what we got to do, uh, the first thing that I want to do, I'm going to go to the opacity on my paper rip, and I'm just going to set the blend mode to screen, and it's just going to make it uh, just screen over better and kind of be less of a harsh effect. We're going to put this to the side for now. Go to our first clip, and we are going to make it freeze frame. Wherever you want the frame hold to be, wherever you want it to freeze, I think right here is good. I'm going to split this. And I'm going to go and right click this and add a frame hold. Now, as you can see, this is frame held and I'm actually just going to drag this out a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and get our paper rip texture and actually put that over top. So now it's going to be the paper rip texture with the freeze frame. And as you can see, it just kind of paused with that paper texture and flips. And obviously this isn't very clean, but this is the base of it. So we're going to highlight both of these right click and nest them and this is going to actually just combine the layers into one layer next thing we're going to do is click on our nested sequence and go to the opacity in the effect controls we're going to get our pen tool out and we're going to go ahead and mask out our first paper mask it out and now you can see all i have is this little section of it so go ahead and go to the mask feather and make sure this is set at zero and we are just going to go ahead and copy and paste our nested sequence and put it on top again now with this nested sequence, I'm going to invert the selection. So now you can see on the bottom, we have our original cutout and on the top, we have the rest of the cutout. And with this mask, I'm actually going to nest the nested sequence. I know it seems a little bit redundant, but we are going to nest it and this is going to lock in our mask in place. Uh, so now we can actually create another mask. Go to our second nested sequence and go to our pen and we're just going to draw out this top little corner we have the top and the bottom, as you see, we're just missing the middle. So I'm going to copy this nested sequence, paste it, and put it on top. And we are going to invert it again. Do not forget to go to all of your masks and set the feather to zero. I forgot to do that, so I'm going to go back and set my feather to zero on all my masks to get rid of those lines. And now we have three different layers that we can move. So now that we have our three layers, I'm actually going to select all of these, copy them, and paste them, and make another nested sequence. And this nested sequence is just going to be the same as our original layer. Um, honestly, you didn't have to <laughs> do this. You could have just kept the original freeze frame with this. But yeah, I forgot that we actually do need this. So we're going to move these aside and we're going to put this in the beginning. So I'm actually going to go back and make another frame hold at the exact same frame. Frame hold. Just make sure it's the exact same frame as our paper version underneath. So you can see... It's the exact same clip. We're going to animate the paper folds coming in next. Copy this nested sequence, paste it one more time. So we have two, obviously, because there's two paper folds. My bottom layer, just uncheck that for now so we don't see that. And I'm going to just start on the first frame by making a mask that's just going to get a little bit of this line here. So now we've got our first mask, and that is just of this bottom line. I'm going to keyframe the mask path, and I'm going to go over a frame. Set a keyframe, go over another frame, and we're going to animate it. So we're just going to grab it and make it go a little bit further. And where you're with that keyframe, you're going to go over, place a keyframe, go over one more, and animate it again. And just repeat this process. Do that. Go over, place a keyframe, and then go over, and it will fully come in. This nested sequence is six frames long if you want the exact same animation. 
but as you can see that just kind of animates the line coming in uh, now we're just going to repeat the process for the top see that our lines come and animate in kind of see like these lines where where the texture comes in uh, if you just crank your feather a little bit more that will definitely ease up so i'm just going to crank my feather up on both these masks and now we have our lines coming in these do have masks on them we don't want the mask on them anymore so we're going to nest them all again so it would be nested sequence four and nest them all separately so that way it will get rid of the mask and we don't have a mask anymore now we're going to go to our effects and we're going to look up transform grab transform and drag that on to all three sequences and for each of these transforms you want to go to the shutter angle on all three and set it to around 200 or 180 uh, anywhere from 180 to 360 will work and it's just going to give it a little bit of motion blur start with our bottom clip so we want our bottom to obviously pan out to the left keyframe the position on the very first and i'm going to go over one two three four five and i'm just going to drag that position to the left so if we play that back, it comes in and to the left. I'm actually going to make that a little bit faster. And since we did do that shutter angle, it will have that motion blur. So now we're going to go to our top layer and go to the transform and essentially do the same thing. Go to the very beginning and keyframe our position. And we're going to go over one, two, three, four frames. And we're going to make it slide to the right. So now we've got sliding to the left and the right now we just have this last middle layer we're gonna go to the very beginning get the position and i want this one to kind of slide like down diagonally so i'm gonna crank the position i'm gonna first keyframe the position one two three four frames i'm gonna move it to the right i'm gonna move it down and to the right and down a little bit if you do want it to frame hold a little bit at the beginning we can just go ahead and move our transform keyframes back a couple frames so i'm going to move them two frames to the right and this way it will frame hold on that paper effect for a second and then transition out if you guys think it transitions out too quick you can always just make frames further apart so we're going to make them six apart now six frames apart Let's see what that looks like and yeah i think that is the golden transition right there if you guys do end up wanting to make this effect again the link to this asset is in my bio. You guys can use this paper effect for 100% free. Just use promo code paper at checkout. Here yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and sub. Uh, it really does help me in this content's free. If you want to connect with me and a bunch of editors, make sure you check out our Discord. The link is in my description. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial later.